First of all, I want to say shout out to the middle-aged women wearing cat ears like they're six years old. Now, we have a gorilla mask situation with Z-lister Amy Schumer. And for those who aren't familiar with what a gorilla mask is, a gorilla mask is a liberal white woman who pulls up in a gorilla mask and insults the black man they believe is safe to insult. Much like this white liberal gorilla mask woman did to Larry Elder in California. Now, a gorilla mask can be literal and figurative. And with this situation, we have a figurative gorilla mask wearer who goes by the name of, I think, Jolene on me. You see, Jolene on me is your typical liberal white who enables the chaos and degeneracy of idiot pro-blacks who have an inferiority complex and don't like being held responsible for their bad behavior. For example, Z-lister Amy Schumer decided to enable racist behavior all season long during Big Brother 23 by being a fan of the cookout. And being one of these people who says an alliance based on race with the goal to eliminate all the other races in the house for a race-based cause and goal, saying that isn't a racist alliance, it's just blatant dishonesty. Because a rational-minded person would wonder, why would this liberal cheerleader of this alliance, like why would she go against basic common sense and enable this shit all season and even after the season? Well, the answer is simple. She's a liberal white and liberal whites aren't bright. You see, Jolene on me thinks if she panders to this racist ignorance that it will win her favor with the woke Big Brother community and pro-wokes in general. But the fact of the matter is, pro-blacks, pro-wokes, they aren't rational at all. Pro-wokes, pro-blacks, who have the cookout mentality, they still hate white people in general. No matter who they say they voted for, no matter how much woke shit they say online. Case in point, remember all of the BLM peaceful protests last year? BLM, aka Burn, Loot, and Murder during 2020? Well, they rioted mostly in liberal American cities. And there's even video where some pro-black is getting some dumb white liberal bitch to kneel before him in the name of Black Lives Matter. Which is sort of what the cookout represented in the Big Brother house this season. And you also had liberal white males and females washing pro-blacks feet in front of their kids or some liberal white parents' children and just shamelessly doing so. And remember, folks, this happened in June during the early days of the scary, scary virus that's super spreading and killing granny. But if you want to gather by the thousands to protest and riot for BLM, then it's all magically safe. Now, I highlight this shit because what JoJo is doing by her saying the cookout is not racist, it's the equivalent of these pathetic liberal whites who kneel and wash feet amid a 
so-called pandemic, while America also burns in the name of that same uh, bullshit agenda of BLM. Because listen, listen, white libtards who say the cookout is not racist. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No matter what you say, you cannot comprehend the irrationality of people who want to be enabled and don't want to be blamed for shit. They're still going to cause chaos in your neck of the woods and you have to deal with the consequences of your stupid acts. So there is no benefit for advocating for this ignorant shit, particularly the ignorant shit that went on this recent season on CBS's Big Brother. Because enabling the racist cookout is no different than enabling the BLM bullshit that caused chaos, especially during 2020. But, you know, people like Joe, who put on the gorilla mask, they inflate the egos of these cookout members and the players of this season so they can get the green light to go around and put on their gorilla mask and insulting the blacks that have been okayed to insult by the pro-blacks that they cater to. And on a recent stream of hers, she was calling out several black dudes, you know, who the pro-blacks have deemed the Larry Elder types that the lowly white liberals get to insult in the name of woke. And during her stream, she was addressing toxic YouTubers, or I should say toxic YouTube, where among many other things, she addressed black male players, a big brother, podcasters, and commenters she didn't like. She said things like, Kylan needs therapy. He needs to get the misogyny TikToked out of him. And she also stated she wasn't a fan of Derek Frazier. But I wonder, was she a fan of cookout fans calling Kylan and Derek F. Coons? Is she a fan of Xavier being run off Twitter because they called him Coon and even insulted the fact that he has white family? You would think for a woke white woman who I'm sure is a fan of Colin Kaepernick, who has a white family as well, she would call out these people insulting the white family of the black man that made history in this season of Big Brother. You know, much like how Kaepernick made history. Really, the only history he made was being one of the most lucrative race hustlers. You know, but that's for a different video. But no, woke tards like Joe will leave all of that out. They won't address the coon situation because she's pro attacking men because she's pro woman. And usually that's, you know, how those types roll because her mindset is and, you know, and people of her type, they believe that if you label people all right, toxic men, and call women different from them, internalized misogynists, then they believe that makes it okay to contradict their claims that they don't make personal attacks. <laughs> While they, you know, follow that up by making personal attacks. And again, it's funny how dumb liberal bitches like Joe thinks calling someone alt-right is an insult when they voted for a man whose own vice president called him racist, a man with a racist, drugged-out son, a man who 
who's not only racist himself, but who is also a child sniffer and child nipple pincher. Yes, the little girl who he was caught on video groping is now older. Her name is Maria, and she confirmed what anyone with eyes could see confirmed for themselves, but she confirmed that the woke president that represents the pro woke tards pretty much molested that girl by pinching her nipples. So again, when the Joe lean on me's of the world talk about protecting women and defending women, please remember they're full of shit because they voted for someone like a creepy Joe. But they're full of shit on all issues, not just about protecting women, but they're also full of shit when it comes to caring about black people as they proclaim. Which brings me back to this idiot saying the cookout is not racist. So the female comedian, which is a joke within itself, who supports this notion that the cookout is not racist, but she also engages in what some would deem white privilege because several times in, during her little stream she kept mentioning other people's living status and money situation and comparing it to her own and I'm like if you're going to play this white liberal slave play or sa saver savior you're going to play the white liberal savior you're going to play it the right way then you can't keep mentioning how much you have in comparison to others and also you should chill on that mocking black man voice talk that you were doing while you were ranting about metro d and imitating him <laughs> now i know uh, busy bluetooth may have given you the thumbs up to do that but in some pro woke circles you know, they would call that racist. You know, since you care about that sort of thing, right? Now, I don't even need to call this bitch a racist. She know who and what she is. She knows why she continues to say the cookout's not racist, even though it clearly is. But all she needs to do is keep that same energy. If another round of peaceful protests occurs, in residential areas of woke white libtards like her. You know, keep that same in energy, thinking that blacks who be at the cookout, you know, they can't be racist. They can't be the issue. Because what's so funny is that you're seeing a real life backlash to this sort of ignorant type support of not holding people accountable and responsible for their negative actions. I mean, just look at all of these white liberal neighborhoods that's recently been terrorized from Chicago to LA. There are so many stories this year with, you know, cookout members from the hood terrorizing these areas now. Even though they have their BLM and white woke virtue signals on display it doesn't matter because they don't care so keep on saying the cookout is not racist it's not going to help anyone like Joe in the BB house just ask Claire or outside of the BB house in the big brother game of life now this chick also mentioned sex a lot during her stream because that's like one of two jokes that female comedians usually have to tell. But in this instance, she mentioned comments about gays. And if you make comments about them, it means that you want to suck their dick. <laughs> so she's probably one of these people who's supposed to be a comedian, but probably offended by Dave Chappelle's stand-up. So, could never really be a comedian then, right? But again, since, you know, this person wants to go down that path, you know, people 
who make comments about gays, whether they be valid criticisms or whatever, and saying that, oh, that means that they want to suck dick, want to go down that path. Let's open that door and let's go down that path then. Because you see, when guerrilla maskers like Joe talk about toxic men and toxic masculinity, that means they just really want some toxic man fluid in every hole that they possess. In fact, I believe part of this toxic men talk, part of it is some kind of fetish. You see, I feel just like how Joe feels about commenters about gays. I feel those who make comments about toxic men not only want the toxic male dick, but they also want it in front of their boyfriend or husband if they have one. And they would want that boyfriend or husband to watch them enjoy that toxic dick. You know, thanks to men like Drexel on YouTube, I've heard a lot of liberal women love getting bulls and cock and cuckolding their men. And it's no surprise that cuckold porn is the number one search in California, where a bunch of feminist women reside, and clearly they desire to be dominated by toxic men in front of their soy filled boyfriends and husbands. So, for the Karens, Beckys, and Jolines of the world, please know I understand what is really meant when you call men toxic and misogynistic. It means you really just want to, I don't know, fuck someone like Kylan or fuck someone like Metro D. <laughs> now, let's get back to this cookout thing. I must state again, the cookout mentality is destructive, especially coming from their white liberal idiot fans who ignore all of the bad shit done in the name of this bullshit. Because just so you know, it's damaging in the game and in real life. Because again, that same cookout mentality would not only attack their white lip tart fans, but they will also protest the shooting of a black man at a Wendy's but then days later, some of those same protesters will shoot and kill an innocent black girl. Which is all done in the name of blaming Whitey and you can't hold them responsible because they're black. Which was pretty much the premise of the cookout. You know, blaming all of the non-existent white alliances throughout the season. And then they can't be held accountable for what they say and do based on race because you know that race is big brother history you know blame whitey and because they're black but you know it's just funny when you have to watch these white libtards negotiate various issues you know not just inside the big brother game but in the big brother game of life because you know they're all pushing this you know covid vax poke thing but there's many cookout members who don't want to take the poke and haven't take, taken the COVID vax poke. In fact, they would rather give a shot before they get a shot where they give their uh, freedom papers. You know, and it's been funny seeing white libs try to figure out how to handle that. But anyway, for the female comedian who believes women should be able to bust it wide open but naked in public, but jerking off in the subway, in front of people is bad bitch get a clue they're both are illegal and you can be a sex offender in either case you know the fucking double standards is just off the charts <laughs> and she made a lot of double standards and contradictory statements if the stream is still up go watch it and see for yourself now, you would think these people would one day you know, save themselves from their ill liberal logic, you know, cheerleading racist shit. Because 
Cheerleading racing shit is not cool no matter what the race is or the sex is. Because sexism, also, it goes both ways. But I know dumb woke tards with cookout mindsets never learn. And woke libtards are willing to pay the cost to be woke, even if it endangers themselves with cookout members who still hate white people no matter what. And lastly, you gotta love when bitches pretend to be offended by the word bitch, despite what they listen to, and despite all of the ratchet and thotty shit they say to themselves and about themselves on and offline. But, you know, you people are so toxic. So, so toxic. Misogyny! Misogyny! <laughs>